Okay, the first thing we're going to do, as you can see, I have a full length of fabric here. What I'm going to show you is how to take this length of fabric and come up with two half square triangles with just a few basic cuts. You're going to end up with this and this out of one square of fabric when you're done. You start with your fabric, lay in two right sides together for the length you need. I find I need a half inch more width for whatever size square I want to finish with. My particular square is four and three quarters, so I have a strip of fabric five and a quarter long, or length, and whatever length long that you are comfortable using. You start by marking off your four and a, your five and a quarter inch length like I'm doing here. I'm going to use a marker so you can see it, but you use a pencil. You mark down through here. You do it again. The length of your fabric as far as you can. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact I can do four. So there's my second square. There's my third square. And then check the last one. And my last one is exactly five and three quarters. Or five and a quarter, excuse me. Now you take your diagonal line from this point to here. You're going to mark diagonally from corner to corner, one direction, like so. Then you're going to turn it. You're going to come back this way. You're going to do another one. And you're kind of making a continuous W down through the width of your fabric, of your strip. Now I've got all my cutting lines marked, ready for cutting as soon as I've sewn. I always make sure I pin randomly away from my stitches, away from my marking lines so I'm not running into them. But I like to be generous with my pinning because I want to make sure these hold together. it's ready to sew. So it should look like this when it's completed. Your squares, your diagonal lines. Now you're going to sew on your diagonal lines a quarter inch from each side. So you're going to start, you're going to start here and you're going to stitch down a quarter, a scant quarter inch from your pencil line. You're going to come all the way down through, all the way up, down again, up again. If you don't know what a, a scant quarter inch, a scant quarter, a scant quarter inch is a thread length smaller than a quarter inch. Everyone's quarter inch is slightly different, so you have to know with your machine what yours is. But you're going to go all the way over here to the end, turn around, and you're going to come back again this way, stitching. So when I come back, I'll have this all stitched, and I will show you what to do from there.
that side, you're going to flip it over and you're going to put it back in. Scant quarter inch from that side. And you're going to back down the other side. now I have them all stitched. I'll flip it over for you to see. You can see how it's stitched diagonally through there, kind of like a W or an M. Flip them over and every pencil line, straight pencil line that you put in, you cut them apart. Then you take the diagonal pencil line and you cut those down. And you now have eight half square triangles which you can open and press to the dark side. Okay, now you have your half square triangles all squared up. I love this technique because what it does is it takes that threat of a stretched bias away. You've already sewn your bias stretches across here and it helps it keep from stretching when you're putting them together. But anyway, as you uh, straighten it up, you're going to take your 45 degree angle on your ruler. You're going to center it right where the colors change and keep it within your length of what your block is. My block is exactly four and three quarters and this is coming out at four and three quarters. So I clean two sides, turn it around and again four and three quarters here four and three quarters here and then your diagonal line at the colors color changes and there you go you have a perfect quarter half square triangle happy sewing